What's going on, guys? So today on this itty bitty third party transformer review, we're gonna take a look at something not new from New Age, and it's their legendary heroes. Alliance number three B Gunner Kit, and it's their version of Blue Blue Streak, so to speak. Um and I could be wrong in some degree. Uh, but I think that this is based off of the original, like, Diaclone version of Blue Streak, which was, in fact, blue. Uh, and, you know, look like that. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, well, I'll correct it in the edit. That's what I try to do. Or I mock myself in the edit. Either way. But usually they do this kind of artwork uh, whenever it comes to slightly more diaclone looking stuff but once again i could be wrong and of course come to the top of that you get some nice box art there come to the side you get some really nice images of the thing there however and i said this in my in the kitchen out the box review that my patrons hopefully got to watch uh i say that because i don't know if they did they better but either way they got to see this first and got to see my initial reactions um to me, there's a, something a little bit off from the actual product to the pictures. And here we have a nice image there. You know, looks good. I guess he's meditating is what it is. You got a little thing there. I have no clue what that is. It is interesting. And you got Aegis 15 Plus. Hey, I'm right in the middle of that. Box art is by that. Of course, made in China. All the things. Looks cool. Now, this is kind of a no frills review realistically because i've already looked at four different versions of this mold already and this one is just a repaint so it is what it is so let's get to it all right so here is our version of gunner kit and you can see he is the blue one now my biggest problem is this blue um it's like a heavy flake metallic blue and it's a lot darker than I anticipated. The other problem being the inconsistencies in blue. Because the inner plastic blue, as you can see there, is one color. And then you also have blue painted over white. Like that, which reveals the edges look kind of poopy. And reminds me of some of the cheaper toys I had as a kid. Now, is it completely out of the realm for a company like this to do that? No, not at all. But here's the other issue, as you can see right through there, along the cowl, which is supposed to be silver, the white is bleeding through immensely. Same thing here. The silver, at least on those parts, definitely had a hard time poking through. So the kind of weird inconsistencies with the blue especially here on the arms stuff like that really does bother me now i know it sort of follows with what most of the rest of them do but as i saw this thing in pictures online you know stuff like that i never got the impression that it was like this deep of a blue i was hoping even here on the lights it would look a bit brighter and it doesn't now let's see he does have whose head does he have uh looks to be prowls yeah definitely not uh definitely not actual blue streaks very nice uh off offset blue metallic eyes gold crest he does have the shoulder cannons though almost everybody comes with those so i put them on them when necessary um obviously only smoke screens are like supremely different you know but it is what it is you know, I do have the Repro Labels silver lined sticker. Blends in very nicely. I do dig that. White paint down here. Silver paint across there. That's the other thing. Yes, silver paint here. So why no silver paint in here or on the thighs? If you're going to paint silver, give me some more silver. Um, it could also be that maybe the black windshields bother me. Uh, let's see here. He's got black windshield. And... Uh, yeah, smokescreen has black windshield. Sorry, they're all off to the side here. So, But for the most part, that is what it is. I think realistically with the way the color scheme came out, I'm just not that big a fan. It looks more dull than I thought. And the clashing of whites and blues does bother me. Also, his head comes across kind of small for whatever reason 
even though it's the same kind of thing we already have. So, we've been talking about it. Let's just bring out the rest of the Datsun Bros. And, yeah, there's a weird thing where these guys are kind of small as as it goes compared to the rest of the Autobots and stuff like that. But the way I have them in my display is a thing, but just the way... It's just the way the the blue paint against the blue plastic kind of doesn't work. It bothers me. Come on, Prowl. It's leaning back just a little too far. But, I mean, while he fits in, he also doesn't fit in at the same time. Um, and once we go to car mode, it's going to get worse. I hate to say it, but it's going to get worse. Um, and now let's see here. Let's compare to Soundwave for size. Because these are our new big bot. Also a blue paint job. I know it's way far away, but it is what it is. Come on, get up in here. Come on, get, get up in there. We go, yeah. So, Soundwave towers over those guys. I didn't know. I never would have considered that. And then with Shattered Glass Cosmos. A DX9 version of a Prime. And another small car friend from the Jazz Mold. Making Jazz roughly the same size. So, oops, knocking stuff over. Oh, here, how about this? Here's here's another, what I consider significantly better, more updated bot. So, it's almost like they kind of need to do a redo. So, one issue that I've always had with these is how big this is, which is so funny because even with the MPs, it was like that. All right, so let me point this out. There's some QC problems with this. This door wing here is super, super loose. Like that pin just isn't doing what it's supposed to do. Now it's supposed to have just enough play in it so that you can move it around. But then that's it. This one stays. This is super loose. And couple that just with my disappointment in the paint job. You know, this one is really a letdown for me. I will say that I do appreciate the fact that he is the same mold as prowl so he doesn't have the upgraded shoulder and tire combo that um smoke screen had which actually makes the transformation slightly more difficult so i do appreciate that but uh let's go ahead and get him into car mode i'm going to skip the transformation because we have seen it if you want to see that kind of stuff by all means go check out the previous videos in which i already showed that off All right, so there we go. That took a little bit, actually, to transform all these guys. Though it's funny, I had such a hard time originally with the uh, smokescreen extra transformation that's in their shoulders. Uh, this go-around, it 100% made sense. Um, it's kind of funny. And I have not transformed these guys in a while, though. There's still some fitment issues and still the kind of uh, bend happening right in front of the front doors. There's no good way around that. It's like there's just a thing happening so my problem in car mode the inconsistency of the silver so this is painted over what i assume is blue this is painted over white and you can see the blatant difference between the silver and this silver i love the color scheme but it looks like a hot wheel and not like a decent one like a crappy hot wheel that i repainted as a kid with the extra hangover paint like it could it have killed them to paint that all the way around like to be totally honest it's just it, it it's a half-ass redeco in my opinion and that's that's my problem with it even this one which has the least amount of external detail looks clean and looks purposeful this should have been an easy good repaint but for whatever reason I do not like this blue. I almost would have been fine with the bare blue plastic. Because, I mean, even here, along the tips of the uh, legs there, you end up with a tiny bit of extra color showing through. And it just, it hurts it. Like, it just, it's not a good one, as it were. I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. 
And I kind of wish the whole back panel would have been painted matte black around the taillights. Did any of them do that? I don't think anybody did. They should have. Oh, yeah, Prowl did it. So Prowl did it, and therefore the rest of them probably should have too. It just looks better with that fair lady design. So like I said, I was really hoping to like this one, and it turns out I really kind of don't. It makes me sad. So, and of course, the only one I'm missing out here is Barricade. Barricade doesn't count because he's not an Autobot. And let's see here. Let's bring out an Iron Hide from last time for size comparison, even though we saw the reverse mask go around. And I don't have anybody else in uh, car mode. So, <laughs> just what it is. This might be one that I leave off to the side because I'm just not that big a fan. Now, Black Rain also still exists, and that's like a silver version of, of Blue Streak. So almost like Silver Streak, as it were. And I'm going to pick that one up too. So I need to get the van, I'm sorry, the uh, taxi version of Ratchet, and I still need that one. So odds are I'll buy those two this weekend just because. Um, while they're still available because those things are getting harder and harder to find, especially the taxi version of Ratchet. I really do dig that one. I just don't know why it exists. But for the most part, like I said, this one is a mild disappointment. And I just dropped parts to the floor. And I was correct in my assessment that he is a Prowl repaint. Because even his shoulder cannons, I, I didn't really point it out, are just repaints. Or actually full paint jobs of prowls so there's that and also it just it does suck that there is no good way to mount his weapons to his body um i think i never tried i was gonna say if that would tab in there because it almost does but that's something that the mp does it's really cool and I, unfortunately i don't have any of the mps anymore i sold my whole mp collection so sorry no comparisons to that size class but it is what it is i still like this mold i still think it's good i think that this one Maybe it's a quality control issue, that the paint job is just not as good as it should be, but it bothers me. I think it because this one even has a metallic clear coat to it that looks better than the entire metallic paint job on this one. So, sad day. I hate to hate on it, but it is what it is. Let me know what you think down below. And uh, out of the ones I have so far, and I'll throw in Barricade as a comparison as well, which one do you think? are the best out of the Dessens so far. And I still contest these are better than Magic Square. But it is what it is. And I'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, do all the things. Go watch the rest of the New Age playlist. And I'll see you next time. Remember, as always, keep on nerding.